Oh. <laughs> Sam Sword Slayers versus Naira and Umeki. Umeki Daisy there was so in pools. So we have three peaches There's on the stage. so many princesses. The royalty. And it's popping off it, right now. It really is. And people are right now are probably going to be like, oh dear, here we go, guys. Peach all over the place. Uh, uh. Shocker. But honestly, these are the Peach mains ever since. Ever since Smash 4 Wii U, dude. Yeah, they've, they've been, been out here. They've been doing this for a hot minute. And some of these guys even been Peach mains in Brawl. So Umeki, quite privileged to be able to play Daisy now. Big Daisy fan. Nice. Yikes. All right, this is a crazy match. Nairo being very smart with his character pick. Understanding that a character like Pe uh, Peach, you don't necessarily want to uh, have to deal with Peach. Peach's, uh, Peach's aggression. So you want to use a sword character to keep her out. And the funny thing is that that's been that's been a thing even since like older Smash games. Oh yeah. Using just, swords characters against Peach. Yeah, I think in general versus flow to your characters, having a, a long ranged attack like sword characters do have, yeah. you have an easier time keeping them out because they're just not fast enough to contend with that kind of playstyle. Yeah, exactly. So Lucina does do a pretty good job. But with two peaches on the stage, who knows? And with how fast peaches oh got stuck underneath the stage, that's oh, not a good stock for Nairo. Definitely not when you're at forty two percent. That's, but that's basically a fresh stock right there. Yeah. He's just drifted in a little bit too hard, and Pokemon Stadium 2 will eat that up. That's it. And it looks like right now Umeki's going to have to pick up the pace for Nairo, who's already at 38%, trying his best to just keep Slayers at bay. Right. Okay, there it is. Slayer is on the move. There. Yeah. And, you know, when it comes to this character, Peach, what makes her really scary is that she's a tank, man. A tank that dishes out so much damage. Yeah. High knockback on a lot of moves, especially at higher percents. Right. You can see the forward airs are coming out. For sure. And just float cancel is so strong, man. It keeps everything so fast. Yes. And I, I like that you, with Peach, you can just go very far off stage, and you're relatively safe. So it, it leads to a lot of good edge guarding situations as well. And I like what Naira did. Try to go for that Dolphin Slash just in case. He's like, you know what? I have the edge right there to cancel the lag. Nice. Okay, Naira this time not getting caught underneath the stage. Right. Okay, let's see. Umeki. Okay, Nairo is super aggressive. Yeah, off stage, man. But the Peach is just not falling for it with a quick up B, kind of mitigating any um, option that Nairo wants to do off stage. That's right. It's a neutral air. Oh, the combos. Oh, okay. This, I thought Nairo was actually going to set up into a shield breaker. Yeah, One yeah. hit on a shield, you could actually go for a shield breaker on charge and break it. Yeah, your yeah, shield breaker is super strong. Okay, now we're trying to allow Umeki to keep things going. You see how the plan of just keeping people out of play. But now right. Slayers. Okay, I thought Slayers was going to actually put him in a tough spot. But there it is. Nairo is gone again. That Ooh. SD did hurt him quite a bit. It really did. 40% versus characters like this. Not good. Oh, my God. So much pressure. These guys are just floating in and out. Yeah, but on that the shield. Is, it doesn't look like it's stopping Umeki at all. Nah, yeah, he's, he's still going in. Okay, side beast to the, to the ledge. Gets down air. Oh, the booty. That's right, man. And that booty, too strong, I tell you. Too good. That first game right there. They look pretty happy. I see, I see Sam Sora. Look at that. Look at that smile. They're having a good time. Even Nara's <laughs> out. Everyone's having a good time. I was like, yeah, yeah. Keep smiling, you pieces of doit. <laughs> I always feel like Nara has that evil smile, you know? Because you watch the stream, she yeah. always likes to pop off. Yeah. That smile just means see me next game. Y'all. See what happens to y'all next game. It ain't gonna be free. Alright, so sticking with the Lucina. Yeah. Yeah. Again, three peaches and a Lucina. It's a pretty scary situation. No, no, no. Two peaches, a daisy, and a Lucina. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I mean, it, 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 people just default to same peach anyway. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, Nairo. Trying to see if he can at least deal with Sam Sora, you know, a player that he does, from, from what I've seen, you know, when it comes to the online scrims that a lot of these players have on their streams, it allows these guys to be able to just keep the pressure going, you know? Yeah. Um. All right. And, and Sam Sora's offstage game is so good. He almost KO'd Nairo off that down yeah. air and then gets that forward air off the jump. Super good. A nice Umeki right there. Mm -hmm. Again, keeping Slayers to the left side of the stage. And you see Nairo. I also pretty good at, uh, right now, too, against Sansara. I'm liking the pacing of the match. Yeah. You know, you see these guys just basically spacing out with their aerials. They're not, they're not making it easy in the least, right? Nairo spacing with pairs and bears, knowing that the bear is a solid KO option at high percents. And we could see it get Lendit's mark right here on oh. Slayers. And there it is. Yep. The backer off stage. 
Yeah, I feel like Nair actually controls a lot of the, the way this match is going to go because he's keeping out one of the Peaches usually at any given time or he's getting comboed by the Peaches, so it's a really contingent on how he does in his one-on-one. -on -one. But Smash Ultimate Doubles is very interesting. You end up with a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations. You do. Of, because of what you talked about where you can't just dash in past, uh, past your opponent. So true. Very cool. Okay, right. here it is. Oh, Mekki right now a little bit out of play, and I love the red team's thought process. They're like, all right, let's all gang up on Nairo. <laughs> and now, because of this, Nairo <laughs> taking on a whole leap of damage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Still pretty good for the green team, though. Yeah. They could try to t uh, tie things. But again, this is loser's bracket. It is. Loser's eight. Loser's eight. Still best of five, though. Yes. So many turnips. And so many stocks right now for Umeki. Three with 152%. Yeah, he's, he's stock tanking. And unfortunately right there for Umeki, getting killed right there by that backer. But, I mean, it, 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 it was about time for the red team to be able to close that one out. Yeah, yeah. It seems like Nairo's the one that's going in super hard, and then Umeki's kind of playing the back foot and kind of conserving his stocks and then calming off of anything that Nairo sends off to him. Yeah, and I, I mean, it's working out pretty well. Yeah, it's not bad. Nair just goes off stage every time. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Try to see if he can maybe volley again, but recognizing that there was a teammate that was about to be in play soon. Right. I like that pressure by Mikey. Uh oh. Again, keeping Samsoro at away, but Samsoro will not stop. He won't take no for an answer. No. Definitely won't. Oh, yeah, the you, forward smash. You don't want to re-grab that edge against this guy. That was scary. Very scary situation because both players can get hit. Right, right. Oh, and the double edge guard for Samsora. He's popping off. What just happened, bitch? Dude, Samsora is super good. Oh, the, the double peach combo. This is crazy. Oh, oh my god. They're both going out there. Oh my god. No mercy for a fellow princess. Wait, wait, what, what's going on? They're actually trying to save each other and stuff. <laughs> They're crazy. This is the next level, dude. All right, there oh, it is. Oh, and now we got a one-on-one -on -one situation. 110% to zero. Uh-oh. Oh, so wait, Samsung versus Omeki? Yes. Yo. One-on-one, -on -one, on -one, baby. Oh, the good spacing outside the back air. Yo, Samsung. could... Samsung could actually lose this. Yo, this is this is doable if Umeki plays this perfectly. You see? Okay, Umeki. This is Peach. The this combos is, are real. This is Umeki. He's doing such a good. Oh, you can't. Oh, oh the the though. The DI. Umeki. Yo, he stood up to DI that man. Oh, that's a back throw. KO. Not quite. Not Yo, quite. Yo, sick DI, bro. Yo, Umeki's defensive play is super solid right now. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Umeki with the IRL DI, yeah, popping dude. out of his seat. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Just trying his best yeah. to keep these stocks alive here. Yeah. And honestly, dude, there's nothing more hype to me than when you see a person in tournament doing things like that, jumping yeah. up and out of their seat, trying to get that perfect DI. Yeah, that's how you know there's passion in this game, D1. Yeah. There's some passionate players. Look how happy all of them are. They're enjoying their time. Uh, big time, big time. That was very close. Um, he was doing a really good job spacing right outside what Samsora wanted to do and then punishing it with like two little two-hit combos every so often. Yeah. And he, was, he, was, he was bringing it back a little bit. He definitely could have uh, won it because like from 0 to 50, he could have done a combo. Right, right. And potentially put Samsora in a bad situation. But here it is. Game 3, Samsora Slayers up 2-0 versus Umeki Nairo. All right, actually, wait. Since, all right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Wow. Well, we have. We, so we still have the guys making sure to stick with their character. Nairo. Yeah. Looking like he didn't quite get the pickup off of that jab lock we saw with the first hit to dancing Lake. Yeah. But not quite. Not quite. Yeah. It happens. Oh. But right there, the fourth smash is Nairo's jump gone. Oh, nice. Nice. Tech, tech into instant up B gets him back onto stage. No time wasted too. No. Okay, everyone's teching right now. Yeah, man, that's the beauty of this game. You're able to actually hold it now when you when you get knocked into the stage. So that allows you to actually be able to tech way easier. Right, a little bit more leniency. Okay, now we're trying to come back on stage, but we have Sam Sora right now just occupying space. Sheesh. Yeah. And Nair is still alive. Yeah, dude. It's that's crazy. Yeah. And look at that. Sam Sora, dude. The pressure. Mm -hmm. I, 
again, Nair is still living off of all these hits that he is becoming a problem right now. Okay. Ooh, back here's the side. Oh my. Oh, Shalai. Holy. <laughs> that was so crazy. Yeah, dude. My man is slicing out here. I just really love seeing like the jumping down air. Yeah. To the forward air. It's so sick. Yeah, it looks great. It looks pretty. Oh, and look at the combos from these two peaches. Samsara gets the down throw. Slayers is just ready with the back air. I like it. Good team synergy here. Yep, and Omega trying to see if they can get rid of Samsara's stocks because Samsara has way too many. He manages to get the landing go. Samsara. Yeah, the eyes on. Right, just floating all the way on stage. Finally, Naira gets the KO on Samsara. Oh, and the counter with the Toad. Okay. Actually really solid in a two-on-one situation. I like that. Oh, I yeah. like that usage there. Okay, here we have it. Nice. I love that sneaky back here right there just to stop his opponent in his tracks. He went so low to get that. Yes. For the second, we're back at it again. Oh, hitting him with the crown. And Nairo gets KO'd at 71%. Dude, this is this just might be it, dude. Oh, yeah. The game plan that uh, we've seen from these peaches has been quite remarkable, you know? Very solid. I feel like they're just finishing their food every time they get the opportunity to with some low percent KOs like we saw from Naira's last stock there. Wow, but uh, uh, right now Umeki playing like there's a million dollars on the line with this pressure. Yo, Umeki is solid in these two-on-ones. Not giving up without a fight. Definitely not. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. I like that he goes all the way. Oh, and the counter with Toad. Ooh. But he's still living, and that's going to cost. Oh, all right, man. Ooh. 